Hello, I'm Ben Willis. I'm a photographer showing in uh, the exhibition November put together by our friend Heather. Photography as a practice, I think is incredibly fast, as in like you can turn your image around very quickly and kind of like change and make adjustments as needed. But film kind of slows that down rather than digital photography, I only do film. Doing these portraits uh, on the street of the people that you know surround this space, I don't think I would have been able to make those photographs if it wasn't for, one, the space that I'm in, um, and the space that I find myself in, but also the way in which I photograph other people um, has really made photographing uh, and doing self-portraiture uh, a really different and unique kind of craft for me. I have not really ever done self-portraiture before, so this um, work in the show is a very new, fresh take of that. I think it's really interesting to think about the fact that, yes, we live in a day and age where almost everyone is ha at least has the ability or access to take self-portraits. An additional interesting thing is the ability to delete them and to curate them. Even all of this things that we're showing, and yes, these portraits are attached to some semblance of self-autonomy, self-construction, and self-realization, there's still so much that you can't ever really get to. I don't believe that there's actually a lot of images of cis heteronormative black men portrayed the way that I've selected these images for the show. I would like to say that I don't believe these images could be possible if it weren't for queer black people, specifically gay black men, trans black men, trans black women who put their bodies on the line every day in this particular culture. The black male body is at once hypersexualized, hyper fetishized. I think it's important to show black men that you can be tender with yourself and it doesn't have to be overtly sexual like I don't believe any of the images are sexual I think it's okay to you know touch yourself and caress yourself and take care of yourself and it's not really ever seen you know you can have a body that looks like mine and still take care of yourself you know you don't have to be the perfect ideal archetype of what we, you know, so commonly understand as, you know, the black male body. Uh, it also doesn't have to be inherently violent, right? The black body is consumed voraciously in our society. Maybe not ones that look like the one that I've presented, but the idea is that it's a particular play. We're going to see if this, if this is consumed the way that it's traditionally been consumed. But is it reflected upon the way that it's generally reflected upon, which is, you know, there's a penis in there, you know, there's nudity in there. This is, this is pornography, this is uh, violent, this is fetish, you know. I mean, if we go into any kind of understanding of uh, philosophy of the self, it is the ego in which, you know, we try to protect the most out of, out of everything. We talk about ego death, we talk about all of these things. At the end, you're not really seeing anything, right? It's just flesh, it's just a photograph, it's just these uh, particular body parts that we're told you know, are, are important or we're told you know, that need to be hidden or subdued uh, or restrained. But really, you know, as we move into you know, the center of the work, it is you know, these two images, you know, one showing you entirely everything that constitutes you know, this person and then the active choice of, you know, turning your back to that.